talking about was adjusting the laser to optimize the the CVs on, on the system. The CSNT beads gave us a, a CV error. What the CSNT beads will not do on the ARIA is make the adjustment for you to minimize that error. And the reason why we we like to try and adjust the lasers to bring the CVs down is to make sure that we have the resolution on the cytometer as high as we can get it so we can have very, very clear signal detection and separation. So what I was showing earlier was we have the three micrometer adjustments which look like this one here. There's one at the front and we have two more inside of the machine. This might be difficult to see with this lighting. But they all represent adjustment for the sweep of the laser up and down, left and right, or the depth of the laser focus. So, so just as an example, this is where we started, where there was a little bit of a skew on the population. The DAPI channel was a little wide. And what I can show you is when I just adjusted the sweep, are we running? So when I adjusted this sweep here, we're trying to optimize, this is one that's visible from the front of the machine, we're trying to optimize the peak of the detection. If you go too far, it goes back down again. So we just adjust it so that it's at the highest point. So there's a sweet spot. There's a sweet spot. Where's the purpose? We're always adjusting for optimal. And if I adjust the other sweep, you see that it's pulling the signal out of the window altogether on both channels. So I have adjusted so that I get a nice, tight, coherent population for the beads. And the depth of focus really just affects the laser for the signal strength. So it's how well focused the signal is on the interrogation point. Lasers on the interrogation point, and um, so generally we don't have to change that very much. It's usually an issue of the sweep, and that's really it. yeah. So the front one and the one the one is pointing up that we can see from the front, and the one is pointing away from you inside of the machine. Okay? The two of those will usually get you to the point that everything is tightened up. We can see that compared to earlier, the DAPI channel is now a little tighter, so the CVs would be a little better on that, on that signal. Before we had a CV of 8 or something on DAPI, and now we have a CV of 40. So do you ever change, way back we used to change the window extension to zero? Uh, we change the window extension to zero when we are actually setting the laser delays. I didn't show that earlier, but you're right. We, that's what we would do. Um, that is correct. So, so for example, if I change the laser extension to zero and uh, window extension to zero, and my my signals suddenly drop out completely, or become sort of ratty, well, kind of like this. change the window extension we do lose some signal strength. Okay, so if the window extension is changed to zero and we suddenly lose signal or, we, or the signal drops, we know that the laser delay is not set optimally for the, for the bead or particle itself to be in the center of the window. So we would adjust the laser delay at this point to have the signal maximized at the zero window extension so that when, it, when we open up the window extension, we'll be seeing the complete signal very clearly and consistently. But by maximized, you mean at our noise we want, which is 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, whatever we have opt whatever we had previously set as our standard okay. measuring point, we want that to be maintained every right. time. Right, so it should not drop when you hit window extension zero. No, no. Ch changing the window extension shouldn't cause that signal to drop if it's if, this, if the particle is centered in the window. But it did change on the force scatter, but that's, not, that's just expected. That's expected, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, let's see, what else?
else can I say about that? I don't think there's really much else. The same thing happens on the red laser. The red and violet laser are essentially the same process. So do you do, do you do that for all of them? Yes, you would, actually. Yes, you would. Yes, and I, I didn't show that earlier, but you would definitely want to set the window extension to zero when you're doing anything to adjust your know, laser delay. That is really all there is to setting up and adjusting the laser and optimizing the settings. These are the things that CSNT won't do, which is why I like to go through it. CSNT will tell you there's a problem, but won't fix it for you. And um, from here, you know, we'll just save that data.